All right, so this is not how we're going to start that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi, everyone. This is Michael. And this is James. And we host a podcast called The Cooling Rack, which is a podcast about the great Canadian baking show. And as we're now entering season three of the baking show and podcast, we decided we're going to do something a little different, a little extra, maybe. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, so we are doing something called Cooling Rack Taste Test. And we are going to be going around and testing out um, trying various bakes that we've been really curious about trying after seeing it on the show or something like that over the past three seasons or two and now this third season. So uh, today we are going to St. Lawrence Market. So come follow along as we go do that and we're going to come back here and taste them. always wanted to try that peach cake because I don't know why it's shaped like a peach. I assume it tastes like a peach. I could be wrong. And I don't know what's in it either. So I've always been really curious about that. Okay, so we just went to Future Bakery here and we ended up with two things. So we ended up with like a peach cream puff that actually looks like a peach. And the second thing we got was an opera cake because it's something we've always wanted to try. I've always wanted to try. So we'll go back to my place and give them both a shot. Okay, so one of the things we're trying today is this peach cream puff. Like Very call me by your name. <laughs> That's so inappropriate. <laughs> Um, but this is something I have seen at the market for a while now, and the only reason uh, I wanted to try it is because it looks like what it's supposed to taste like, mm. which for me is five points on any scale. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm like, I just think it's like, it's so pretty. Like, how would you not want to eat this? Yeah. Um, all right, well, dig in, I guess. Right, do you want to go first or should I? I feel like, you know, we both just kind of... Well, we could take it apart, too. Okay. I'm like, what? I'm just like, uh... Oh, it's... it's Oh! Oh! She split. She split. <laughs> and I... And I oop. Well, I mean, at that point, I'm no longer using a fork, so... So it is totally... What? It's totally, like... It's cakey. It's mm. cakey. It's definitely cakey. There is a cream in the middle. How is it? You like that? Mm -hmm. Although I actually didn't get much cream there. I'm gonna really go for a bite this mm. time. It's a donut. It is a donut dough. Mmm. Although, it's a I was expecting more of a peach jelly. Mm. I know she kept saying cream. Mmm. So you the exact opposite of what she said. This is like a peak cream. It's a peach peak cream. A, the little jelly one with oh, the cream and everything. It is a it fruit tastes, cream. It tastes like a. Oh my god. Tastes like that is a peach exactly cream. what this cream. tastes like. Ugh. Living. Otherwise, texture-wise, it reminds me of a. Okay, so there's two things. It reminds me of an old-fashioned sugar donut from mm. any donut shop. Mm. So like a very normal donut that has is dusted with sugar, um, and then just filled with what tastes exactly like the fruit cream in a peak cream fruit yeah. cream. <laughs> now you say that five times fast. How about that? Oh my god, I'm kind of like really enjoying it, it because it's that. actually it's very unexpected. So. Mm -hmm. uh, I imagine the leaf is edible. I mean, it's gotta be. That's 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 marzipan. No, it's not. It's not edible. <laughs> it's paper. <laughs> no, but it is. It's Wait, like, it's rice paper. So is that edible? Yeah, it is edible. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's my people's paper. Uh, <laughs> this is really bad. Oh my. I mean, the more that we ate, the more I just kept thinking. Peak free, peak free fruit cream. There you wow, go. that is fruit cream and the peak free fruit cream. Too much, too much. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try another one next. All right, so the next thing we got was uh, or is an opera cake. So there were a few varieties. So looking at this one, 
the only reason I say it's a different variant is because there's a bit of pink in it, mm -hmm. which suggests that there's probably um, a strawberry cream in it or maybe a raspberry cream in it. Um, hopefully not a cherry cream, because I hate, you know what? If we ever eat anything with cherries and it's unexpected, I'm gonna have a bad moment because I don't like cherries. I don't like cherry flavoring. I don't even like real cherries. I don't like whole cherries. I think they're weird. Interesting. Uh, okay, so uh, yes, we're really gonna good. we're gonna dig in and we're gonna try this yeah. Oprah cake. <laughs> Oprah yeah. cake. Yeah. Um, I feel like I need to like take because I gotta get all the layers. Like I gotta go like yeah right down. Yeah. Okay. okay, are you ready? I really hope there's unexpected cherry. I want you to like just have a visceral reaction. Though it could just be the color balance. It may not actually be red. It may actually be hazelnut and it's just our lighting. Mm. It's not cherry, it's not cherry. There's definitely nuts in it. I'm allergic. I'm kidding. <laughs> Are you allergic to anything? No. Because if we're gonna do this, we have to make sure. So what do you think? What do you think, especially compared to the peach thing? It's a more muted flavor. It is. I mean, it's-, it's But I, I actually like it. Mm -hmm. I do. I'm not like, um, I, you know why? what? In our regular episodes, everyone, we will be um, kind of having uh, the same thing three different times. So it will not be the taste difference of like drastic taste difference, right? So from first to this, uh, it's uh, an adjustment. Yeah. But no, I actually quite like it. So the sponge is pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's light, it's airy. The mm -hmm. nuts are a little, the whole nuts, like the chopped nuts, a little too much for me, for me, for me. I said for me. For me, yeah. For me, no. That's my opinion! <laughs> yeah, um. I said I felt. No, um, but it's definitely something mm. that needs coffee or tea. Mm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Like, that's just what it is. Like, it just needs coffee or tea. Yeah, you know what? I think I like it even more that way. Oh, actually, the more I eat it, the more I like it. I think because we were eating two things mm. so close together, yeah. it took a while to adjust, but. The. Not. Cream, like cream icing. Yeah. It's almost like a creamed icing, and that has chopped nuts. You it. know what it is? It's walnut. Yep. Yeah. And like then, walnut. and then the bottom That's layer why. again. That's why it's so light colored. It's walnut. Mmm. It's a walnut cream. Yum. Yeah. Pretty good. I kind of like it. Yeah. All right, so we are going to be picking our favorite of the two here. Again, not in our traditional format. Normally it would be three of the same thing and which one is our favorite. Um, so, mm -hmm. James, do you want to go first? Yeah. Okay. I will go first. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with the opera cake only because that's the one I could eat every day. I think the novelty of the peach one will wear off. Mm. And again, the fact that, like, what, like, I think it was shocking that it tasted like a peach cream, fruit cream, fruit cream, but that novelty will fade and then it'll just be kind of sugary. Whereas the opera cake had more texture. I don't like the chopped nuts, but that's just me. Uh, and it had better flavors. So that's my opinion. Okay, um, I... I don't know. I, I love the lightness of the opera cake, mm -hmm. but I kind of enjoyed the snackiness of the peach thing. Mm -hmm. Donut. See, we don't even know what to call but, it. But, I don't know. <laughs> I just can't hear peach and nothing but. Yeah. but you know, <laughs> emojis have ruined a lot. So, um, yeah, I really liked that one. I think that, yes, if you were to eat something more often, yeah. that would certainly be a thing um, that would start to wear on you. I also didn't love the chopped nuts in the um, opera cake, yeah. the Oprah cake. Maybe it was an Oprah cake and that's, you know, <laughs> so, maybe Oprah loves nuts. I don't know. Oh um, so yeah, that that's kind of my opinion. So I think from we aren't agreeing exactly well that's like, fine yeah no i know it's not that we have to agree but i was about to say so there we go we both feel the same way and i was like wait we both <laughs> said very different things 
Um, yeah, so I think that's pretty much it here. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. Ding oh that bell, gosh. girl. Oh my gosh. Uh, no. Uh, please, if you enjoyed this, like, you know, uh, leave a comment or whatever. But most importantly, you should subscribe to our podcast, The Cooling Rack, a mm -hmm. podcast about the great Canadian baking show where we uh, basically do weekly recaps of each season of The Great Canadian Baking Show. Check it out. We're on wherever you can get your podcasts. And uh, until then, we'll see you soon. <laughs> I don't know. Bye. We need a good, we need a better pie. Mm. Okay, she's not moving. <laughs> Do we need to move? No. Okay. It's fine. Okay. It's all fine. Uh, okay. So, 